great news for India. We've got a young superstar in the making. Uh, Pragyananda Ramesh Babu, don't forget that name. Rika tells us why. Rika, why is he next level? Uh, possibly the next Vishyanand. Well, the next superstar definitely in Indian chess. Vishnu, I know you are a big cricket fan or and for our viewers who are cricket fans, let me tell you that Magnus Carlsen, the one who he has beaten, is like A.B. de Villiers. He is a 360 degree player. So beating him in rapid is like castling A.B. de Villiers. Wow. For the third straight time in six months, 17 year old Indian grandmaster R. Pragyananda has defeated world champion Magnus Carlsen with the latest victory coming today at the FTX Crypto Cup, the American finale of Champions Chess Tour in Miami. Pragyananda defeated him in the, in the blitz tie break after the score was tied at 2 all at the end of regulation time. Magnus won the event on the basis of a higher score and Pragyananda secured second. Now, if you follow a uh, cricket, this is like castling A.B. de Villiers, a 360 degree player. Very, very tough to beat Magnus Carlsen in rapid chess. And that is why everyone thinks that, that this victory thrice on the trot is special. I am joined at this hour by the man of the moment, R. Pragyananda, who is on his way back from US. He rarely smiles. Pragya, we are celebrating your win. Three wins on the trot against Carlsen. Where do you put this achievement? Um, yeah, it's um, very happy, of course, to come back. It's a four-game match, and um, I was down by 2-1. So I needed to win the fourth game to equalize the score and go to the tie breaks. Mm -hmm. And I managed to do that on demand, so I'm very happy with that. And then, okay, in the side, two blitz games. Um, yeah, I played well in the first one and got a great position out of the opening, and I managed to convert it quite smoothly, I would say, uh, for a blitz game. And in the second game, it was um, topsy turvy. Like the portion was equal, but then he always had this slight push, and um, he managed to get a winning position. But okay, with uh, we were just having some six seven seconds each, so we were just playing. Uh, we had to play fast, and we were missing a lot of things at the end. Mm -hmm. And yeah, he, he missed the last thing. So now in the sixth game, Carlson committed a blunder. It was the 50th move, if I'm not mis mistaken, and you pounced on the opportunity, literally punished him there. Uh, yeah, so it was a, I think it was last blitz game and he needed to win. And he was having a winning position. Um, but as I said, you were just having some less than 10 seconds and you gained three seconds per move. So it was just, um, like we, we don't have much time to think, so he just blundered at the last moment. He missed that. He thought he was threatening a checkmate, but he didn't, so I managed to take his piece. And uh, yeah, overall in the tournament, I finished second, which is also a great result for me. What a phenomenal feat that is. Pragya, uh, beating world number one, is that a psychological advantage? And you've now done it three times on the trot. Um, yeah, it gives me confidence. That's, I think, the main thing. Uh, that I, you know, I can beat anyone and uh, I can beat anyone in the match for my team, so I'm very happy. Let me ask you, how beatable is Magnus Carlsen? Uh, uh, because everyone says that he is in invincible. However, you've shown time and again that he can be beaten in rapid. Um, yeah, he's, he's very strong. Um, it's quite rare that he loses. and. Um, and okay, in rapid, anything can happen. Um, but I would like to, I think, um, rapid is possible to beat him, and, but classically it's quite hard. Like, it's very strong, and even in rapid, it's quite hard to beat. So I'm very happy that I even managed to beat him in rapid. So is that your next target, beating him in classical chess? Yeah, first I need to gain my uh, ELO rating up. Right. Um, I'm around 2675, so I need to get it up to 2750. I need another 100 points, and uh, I can play him regularly then. So I'm just um, hoping to play more classical events and mm -hmm. gain, gain those important ratings. 
Pragya, have you set yourself a timeline uh, to play Carlson more often and uh, we might see you beat him more often? Um, yeah, um, I think I can get it quite soon. Like within a year, I think it's possible to get okay. get to the trading. And I'm just aiming for that and I just want to play more classical events. And these tournaments, these rapid tournaments are quite a very good experience for me. And I'm learning a lot from them. Um, I'm really tempted to ask you this question, Pragya. Did you see Carlson's reaction after you beat him that moment? Um, yeah, um, he was definitely upset, but he was also happy that he won the tournament. So it was yeah, positive for both of us. Indeed. So being the India number one, beating the world number one, would you say that's kind of a pressure? Do you have a lot of expectations pinned? You have a lot of expectations pinned on you, but do you feel the weight of those expectations? No. Um, yeah, I, I don't take much pressure. Um, like, for me, uh, it's fine to lose. Like, I don't really... I'm upset, but I can recover quite quickly. So it's not a um, huge thing for me. And when playing Magnus, you're, you don't really expect to win every game. So um, there is not much expectations for me, at least from my side. Well, for a 17-year-old, I must say that's very, very philosophical. Uh, Pragya, one last question. What after this for you? You've beaten Carlson thrice uh, in six months. Uh, what's the next target for you? Um, yeah, I'm going to play classical events next. I'll play in a Dubai Open, which is a strong event. Um, I try to gain my uh, rating up, so mm -hmm. that will be my next thing. Well, thank you very, very much for joining us. We are extremely excited about that win of yours. Keep those wins coming.